Hey there, Alex here. Whenever I pick up the Essential phone again after not using it for a while, I'm reminded of just how nice it still is. The titanium and ceramic build is still a rarity in the market today. The design of the phone still looks really good to me. I still love the size of the phone. It still performs really well. And Essential is still doing a great job at software updates. But the main reason for making another video about this phone is that I feel like in 2019, it's no longer as good of a deal as it was when I last talked about it. The phone has been discontinued since then, and even for refurbished models, they are a little bit more expensive than it was for brand new sets. In case you forgot, at its cheapest, a brand new essential phone went for just 224 US dollars. Another thing is that used phones from around the same period of time has gone down in price as well. It's not just for the used phone market here in Singapore, but looking at prices in the US, you could get a Pixel 2 for just a little bit more. And that's a better deal in my opinion. It has stereo speakers, water resistance, and the camera performance is just way better. I've tried using the Gcam app for the essential phone, and while it takes better shots than the default camera app in most instances, it's still not quite as good or as consistent as the Pixel. The screen of the essential phone is also not as good. It looks fine, but it has a touchscreen issue which makes scrolling a little choppy. You can turn down the sensitivity to get smoother scrolling, but it won't be as responsive. Also, while the essential phone has been getting timely updates like the Pixel 2, the software experience is still not quite as good as Google's. I still notice some weird bugs around the software. That's not saying that you shouldn't buy the essential phone though, because if you can find a really good deal for it and you're on a really tight budget, it's still a pretty nice phone like I've mentioned. I love the design of the essential phone way more than I do the Pixel 2. It still performs really well, and I like that it comes with 128GB of storage from the get-go. That titanium and ceramic body feels great in the hand as well. However, if you're looking at the current market price for the phone, it's just not that great of a deal anymore. That said, I think Essential has really managed to turn the narrative surrounding the phone around. At launch, it was a total flop because of how expensive it was and how many shortcomings it had. But through massive discounts over the years and their commitment to supporting the phone with timely software updates, I think people are going to be a lot more receptive if they ever get around to releasing their second generation phone. I for one am hoping that they do. Thanks for watching this quick video about the essential phone. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content in the future. Thanks again and see you guys on the next one.